Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Gemology for Schmucks. My name is Peter Nelson. I'm here to guide you in everything you need to know about gemstones. Today, I'm going to teach you a trick for identifying gemstones that you can do using things you probably already own. And if you don't, you should probably buy them and rejoin society. What are we, savages? So those three things are a smartphone, a loop, and polarized sunglasses. Very important that they are polarized. If they're just sunglasses, this will not work. So what we're going to do is first take our phone and we're going to get a white screen, a nice bright white screen. So you can Google white and then it's easier if you take a screenshot, that way it's not getting smaller and larger every time you touch the screen like I did. And then we're going to take our sunglasses and put them over our eyes. What this does is it takes the directional light from the LCD screen and the polarizing lenses in our sunglasses are going to act as an opposite polarizing lens. And this basically creates a field polariscope. If you're not familiar with using a polariscope, you should check out my other videos on polariscopes. And we're also going to take our stone. I'm going to use the same stone from one of our recent episodes that was biaxial. And we're just going to put it on top of the screen or directly in front of the screen and rotate it around. Now, some stones, you will see them blink. This works a lot easier with faceted stones. With cabochons, we can do exactly what we did in the previous episode using the polariscope. We can locate that same optic figure right here on top of our phone. Now, the loop is nice and useful for these cabochons because it helps us to resolve the optic figure. As we said in the previous episode, cabochons act as their own lens, so you don't actually need the loop in this situation, but it does make it a lot easier to see. So, it's the same stone as the last episode, so we know that this is biaxial, and here we go. We can see that same bow tie optic figure. This is only for biaxial stones. Other stones that are maybe too included to see that optic figure, we can still gain some information from this field polariscope. I have a stone that I suspect is an emerald, but I need to perform additional tests. One of the first is going to be using the polariscope. So same thing, I put this green stone on top of my phone with the white screen. I have my sunglasses on. I rotate the stone and every 90 degrees, I can see that it distinctly changes color. This tells me without a shadow of a doubt that this stone is splitting light. So I know it cannot be glass. It is for sure a doubly refractive stone. Is it uniaxial or biaxial? I don't know. Without seeing that optic figure, it's not clear. So we need to do additional tests, but we can be certain that it is not glass because glass does not have crystalline structure and cannot split light. So this technique is very useful, particularly if you're buying gemstones or inspecting gemstones in a place where you don't have all of your equipment, whether you're out near the mines or you're in a pawn shop, this is a technique that you can use anywhere as long as you have these three basic things. So I hope that was useful for you. Head over to gemshepherd.com if you wanna get a hold of me directly. Otherwise, hit like, leave me a comment down below, hit subscribe if you haven't already, and until next time, bye-bye.